Did you hear about a recent faux pas by US President Joe Biden during his trip to the island of Ireland? While he was lauded for his political prowess, Biden made a mistake in mistaking New Zealand's All Blacks rugby team for a British military unit that fought the Irish Republicans a century ago. The incident caused controversy on social media and sparked discussions in the media about Irish rebellious history. If you are curious to know more about this subject and much more that involves the All Blacks, subscribe to our channel and receive everything exclusively. During his first leg of his trip to the island of Ireland this week, US President Joe Biden was praised for his ability to deal with historical and current political sensitivities, marking 25 years since the Good Friday Agreement was signed. Negotiated by the United States, sought to secure a lasting peace for Northern Ireland. However, not long after, Biden made a faux pas by confusing New Zealand's All Blacks rugby team with the notorious British military unit, Black and Tans, who wailed against Irish Republicans a century ago. During a pub speech on Wednesday night, Biden attempted to praise one of rugby player Rob Kearney's greatest sports athletes as Ireland's rugby team defeated New Zealand for the first time in 111 years in November 2016. However, he did drop a reference that might reflect his heritage with Irish rebel history and folk songs, as he claimed that Kearney beat the Black and Tans. The Black and Tans were an auxiliary unit of the British security forces who fought against II rebels in their 1919-21 War of Independence from Britain. Pro-Biden coverage on state broadcaster RT, which aired his speech live, did not spot the error. However, the faux pas exploded across social media in Ireland, with many listing her as the captain of Kearney's career, including his single-handed defeat of British forces a century ago. Seeking to end the dispute on Thursday, Biden adviser Amanda Sloat said that for everyone in Ireland who was a rugby fan, it was incredibly clear that the president was talking about the All Blacks and Ireland's loss to the team of New Zealand in 2016. However, a confusion fetched another faux pas by Biden as he mispronounced Kearney's name as Kine instead of Kane. I hope you enjoyed knowing more about the recent gaffe by US President Joe Biden during his trip to the island of Ireland involving the All Blacks. If you enjoyed this content and want to stay on top of the latest news, don't forget to like and comment. I will be happy to hear your opinion and discuss further on the subject. Thanks for watching.